Story time, folks. All right, years ago, me and Stuntman, we used to buy cars from the auction, okay? We buy them from the Marshall auction. Now, the Marshall auction, you did not get to start the car. You didn't know how it ran, okay? You had to look at the car. They were confiscated from people, okay? You didn't pay your tickets, and they would come snag the car. You didn't have the money for the tickets. You know, you would, uh, you'd lose the car, basically. So, it was pretty much highway robbery by New York City. And uh, we would go there and buy these cars that people couldn't afford to get out of the impound. So, you didn't have keys. You got paperwork from the marshal. There was no title, blah, blah, blah. So, what we used to do was, we used to get to the auction real early. The minute they opened up the gate, we had our eye on whatever car we wanted to buy. We'd book up to the car, check the oil, okay? Pull out the dipstick and drop the dipstick underneath the car so the people couldn't check if it had oil. So now we would know if it had oil or not. Of course, you keep quiet. You don't say anything. So we get in there. We do our thing with about 10 cars, whatever. We used to buy everything. They hated us down there. If I showed up to that auction today, me and Stuntman, they'd be going, oh, shit. Prices just went up. The white boys is back. And we'd be like, oh, yeah, we're back. Prices are up. You know, we just fuck with them a little bit. You know what I mean? They liked us because we knew the business. They always come up for advice. But, man, we fucking killed them. I'll tell you how we used to bid on cars a little bit later. It was funny because they whatever we bid on, they bid on. They did, oh, if the white boys are bidding on it, it must be a good car. Whatever, you know. But anyway, so we see a Canary Yellow 1991 Prelude. And this is a long time ago, okay? This is 12, 13, 4, I don't even know. A lot of years ago, okay? Beautiful Canary Yellow 5-speed Honda Prelude, gorgeous car, okay? Back in the day, it was a nice car, okay? Nothing I would uh, nothing I would run out to to want to own, but there were a lot of kids wanted them, okay? So we get a good deal on the car. We're like, yeah, nice. Bought probably another five cars that day, whatever. So we take this Prelude, and what happened was some of the people at the auction, they would find a dipstick from any car and put it into the dipstick hole, okay? And they would try and check the oil, okay? So I'll get back to that. Kid comes down, nice kid, Dominican kid. Um, you know, he said, hey, papi, I'm on your car, whatever, oh, I like it. We cut a deal with the kid. He's happy as a motherfucker, right? So great. So he leaves with the car, we do the deal, paperwork, he's, he's out the door, happy as shit. Kid comes back like two, three days later. The car sounds like a fucking boat. It's like, bum, 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 bum. and it's fucking oil is dumping out of the tailpipe. I mean, like just dripping out of the tail. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this car, man? I'm like, yo, stunt man, check this shit out. What, what the fuck, man? So, I mean, you rev the car and it is like fucking spraying and shooting oil all over the street. It's like something I've never seen in my life. So we're looking at each other, bugging, like, what the fuck? Is it a bad ring? I mean, wh why would it be doing this, you know? So we're scratching our heads, and he goes, I just bring it to the mechanic. Oh, you know, he says it's no good. It's no good. You're supposed to give me my money. Oh, yeah. I said, bro, you ain't getting your fucking money until I figure this out. The engine just doesn't go bad out of nowhere like this. Did you beat the shit out of the car? Like, what the fuck did you do? He's like, no, Bobby, I don't do nothing. I changed the oil. I changed the spark flow. I go, you changed the oil? I go, the fucking oil is, it looks brand new. I pull the stick out. I'm like, yo, the oil is brand new. What the fuck, man? This is crazy. So I start thinking to myself, you know, you, now you got to start going outside the box a little bit to figure out why the fuck this perfect Honda Prelude, Honda Motor, we all know they're good, is just vomiting oil out of the tailpipe when you give it gas. I'm like... He goes, yeah, he put the oil, you know, he take a lot of oil. I go, what are you talking about, take a lot of oil? You got to take a tank coat of oil. I go, the fucking car took 10 quarts of oil. I said, who's this fucking mechanic? Like, what are you, the, it's a five fucking quart, if that crankcase. I go, is this guy fucking stupid? So I'm like. Now I check the oil, and the fucking oil is right on the dipstick where it's supposed to be. I'm like, I go, stunt man. You know what the fuck happened? He goes, what? I said, 
Look how short this fucking dipstick is, okay? I go, Honda dipsticks are real, real fucking long. I said, somebody must have took, I look at the stick, it's a fucking Toyota stick. Somebody must have took a Toyota dipstick, put it into this fucking Honda motor, and this asshole mechanic who fucking should have, you know, you know, you don't put 10 quarts into a Honda to start getting a reading on the fucking stick. You gotta, you gotta stop and say something's wrong here. These cars take five quarts. The motherfucker put 10 quarts of oil in this fucking Honda motor. And it was spitting like a fucking hose oil out of the back. I go, holy shit. Shut it off. Shut it off. Stuntman shuts it. He's like, what do you do? I go, dude, your mechanic's a fucking idiot. I said, all right. I go, go, go to that Honda right there. Four cylinder motor, same type of motor. Put the fucking, get the stick out, put it in there. Put the stick in there, the fucking stick. It's like a foot onto the stick of oil. I said, Jesus Christ, that's your problem. We drag it down to my mechanic, drains the fucking oil, puts five quarts of oil in it, cleans off the plugs, and it ran like a fucking charm. But what the fuck are people, you're, you call yourself a mechanic? Fucking guy should be ashamed of himself. I would have fucking wrapped that fucking dipstick around his neck and, and choked him for a few seconds. Just, just, to, just straighten the guy out a little bit. But this is what you go through. You got to be like a fucking scientist in this business with these idiots you fucking deal with. Anyway, that's my 10 quarts of oil in a fucking Honda Prelude story, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. I got stories about everything. The good, bad, and the ugly. The happy, the unhappy customer. And silly shit like this that you just can't... You can't fucking even believe it until you went through it yourself, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. Neutral drop, baby. We're going all the way.